Oh, look at that. Out on a freeway, you can still see commerce is not being stopped by no coronavirus. And every once in a while, in between the trucks, you see cars driving, which is people escaping to the wilderness. In reality, they're just bringing the coronavirus to the wilderness, too, because maybe the coronavirus wants to see some of the nice stuff you got out here and take some selfies, uh, you know, out in the cut, too, you know? Anyway, this plant right here uh, has the dubious distinction of being a, a federally listed species. It's uh, highly endangered, not only from a few populations, one of which uh, was just uh, destroyed by a newly erected housing development filled with the uh, horrible McMansions and cul-de-sacs, uh, which of course I'd never want to live in. It makes me want to die inside looking at it. This is Astragalus home Greniorum. What a weird name, huh? And you can see it's distinctive. Now there's, okay, now let me get into it. There's a lot of a rare species of Astragalus here. Okay, not here, but in, a, in the United States, especially in Western North America. And a lot of them are rare uh, because, uh, you know, there's they most likely recently speciated. They're restricted to weird soil types or to weird, uh, you know, just narrow. They're what you would call narrow endemics, okay? The stragglers probably has three or 4,000 species in it. For some reason, it just uh, tends to speciate more than most other genera in the pea family, Fabaceae. But this one is a very rare one, known from the uh, Utah and Arizona state line. And, uh, you know, back at that uh, bleak housing development that uh, only a mark would want to move into, uh, they actually named one of the streets after this plant, even though it no longer occurs there. But let's, uh, enough with that. Let's look at the, uh, those uh, remarkable, what seem to be wing petals, those two white, those looks like two white teeth coming off. And you can see the banner which is that uh, uh, posterior petal looking like a little uh, like a little hood. You know, easy again, just easy to walk by if you didn't know anything, you didn't give a shit, whatever. You know, not think about, but uh, a remarkable plant nonetheless. And it probably, uh, you know, might be extinct in the next decade or two. Astragalus are pretty weird. They get called local weeds because uh, they got some, uh, like many members of the pea family, they got some toxic uh, compounds in those... Uh, those ovules, those seeds, growing on, uh, growing on the limestone. They'd be on a tear pants limestone. Now, see this, uh, this, this uh, barbed wire fence actually has barbs on it. Okay, we're not in the promised land anymore. We're not in Utah. We're in Arizona, so you can't just go under. But uh, you know, you got to know how to basically get over any kind of barbed wire. Just put your hand on that one uh, stake. You want, you want to find the broken. Uh, you know, you don't want to find the flimsy lock. These stakes are good. Put your hand down there, okay? And then just uh, step on it, you know, lightly at first to see if it'll hold them over. It's good because everybody needs to know how to do that because, you know, trespassing is uh, basically necessary out here. Okay, this may not even be trespassing or this might just be a, uh, it might be BLM land. Not like I really care anyway, but here we go. So, you know, you got your strigo cell everywhere. Rip it out. You know, you got to tell those foraging uh, clowns to eat this stuff. This is good. Stuff that in your mouth. Okay, it's an invasive species. You'd be doing us all a favor. You know, start a new fad. Got some nice uh, calicordis lilies. That's just a leaf in a couple months. Some of these will be putting out some incredible flowers. I mean, they're actual lilies. What the fuck? What else you need to say? Gorgeous plant. Here's more of that, uh, that astragalus. Pretty healthy, uh, pretty healthy specimen right here. Let's see if we can get up a nice money shot of those, uh, that inflorescence. Nice striations on that banner petal, that pink banner petal. Almost looks vaginal, in a way. Can you say that on here? It's a medical term. Actually, you know, sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with dirty stuff. It's just an opening, you know. The more prudent might be, uh, might be more offended. Good. That makes me feel nice. Those teeth, those wings, that really. So, you know, in most pea family flowers, the back petal is the banner. Then you got the two wings on either side. Then you got a keel beneath that. And it, the, so those, those two white guys right now on either side, those are the wings. And it's just a really weird variation on a uh, pea flower. Very odd. Boy, you'll miss this when it's gone, won't you? 
Maybe not, because a lot of people don't even know about it. You know, at least not when they're coming down this dirt road in their sand buggy and their go-kart or whatever, slugging a monster energy drink, 50 pounds overweight, zooming them, you know. <laughs> it's fucking oh, idiocracy now. There we go. Well, you know, it's a relatively healthy population, at least for an endangered plant. You know, and again, you know, there's a lot of different variations on astragalus. They're just interesting just to see how things speciate and evolve, you know. You gotta, you gotta... You gotta view these through the lens of uh, evolution and the time it takes for things to speciate, again, on a scale that human beings can't comprehend, you know, and if they if they were able to, they might freak out a little bit. At least, uh, you know, your average John Q taxpayer, your average knob, you know, that uh, <laughs> might be moving in to that uh, shitty tract house community just down the way filled with McMansions and three-car garages. Do you like the nice shit, huh? Maybe, maybe because you can't imagine anything else. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Hope it wasn't too bleak. Hope you had a nice time. Wash your hands, wash your ass, try not to breathe. Go fuck yourself, bye. Welcome to Sun River Villas. Escape the problems of the real world and arrive at your dream home. Luxury simplified. Sun River Villas, a wonderful place to give up and die. Look at their landscaping. They got some nice landscaping over there. They got the, the uh, Rose Marina Officinalis. They got guys in golf carts. Look at that. They got everything you need. Okay? No reason to leave anywhere. Okay? You can walk around a block, but you can't walk too far. And look at that. They got the cinder block wall up to keep the riffraff out. Also keep the road noise out because everyone's got to drive everywhere here. Look at that. Look at a nice patina. Is that salt spray or is that... Uh, just natural weathering of the cheap ceramic blocks in order to keep costs down. This is, yeah, I don't know why you want to live anywhere else. Every house looks a goddamn save, equally bleak. You know your neighbor's house looks as ugly and depressing as yours does. So there's no competition. They got the lawns. Lawns. You like lawns? You like lawns in the desert? Lawns are pretty nice. Look, Austrian pines. Austrian pines. They'll be dead within 20 years. How about that? Looks pretty nice. What else we got going on? Let's keep ruling along. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Look at this. They're having fun. Isn't it obvious? Okay. Let's say, uh, you know, you live in one of these places. You want to check out. You realize your life sucks. You're miserable. Drink a bottle of calcium lime rust, you know, or liquid plumber. Just straight down to go, you know. And then, of course, like maybe 30 seconds later, you know, you're having second thoughts. You got to induce vomiting. Come outside your house. Look at this ad they got here. You'll puke instantaneously. Look at it. Look at that shit-eating grin. Huh? So wide you can see the kernels in between her teeth. How about that? Look at it. They're having a great time. Nothing's wrong. No poverty. Absolutely fantastic. Let's keep moving. Oh, variegated platycladis. Huh? How creative. Never seen that before. That makes me want to die, kind of. Okay, they got the uh, utility uh, meters and whatnot. They just cover with a plastic box. Just pretend they're not there. Love the lawn. Love the lawn, like I'm playing mini golf in my front yard. Okay, more rosemary. They're obsessed with the rosemary here. What else we got? Oh, uh, who seals your driveway? It's fantastic. I love it. No crack. Oh, uh, apparently someone's smoking crack if they're trying to live here. Holy shit. That is, uh, that's, that is wonderful. Look at the opposite. Say you want to go golfing someday. You just step right out here. Okay, golfing in the desert. How much water do you think it takes to keep that uh, lawn green? God, it's jive. This is, I mean, this is really the, the pivotal point of human civilization. Look, they're still under, they're doing the landscaping. Got to get those, got to get those uh, rock walls, those rock retaining walls together. Okay, maybe we'll get some topiary for the rosemary bushes. You know, just see, don't be afraid to get creative. Okay, don't be afraid of, uh, you know, adding a little uh, personality and, a, you know, a little pizzazz. Okay, but that's nice. They got some dasilurian. Some so tall. That's a nice native plant, you know. But they're they're just obsessed with the palm trees, though, too. You know, and no palm trees in Utah. And I guess they think it means uh, paradise or something. Is it medical offices? Oh, okay, because you know some of these people are going to be dropping in the next decade or two. Absolutely. Look at that. She's having a good time. You can too. You got 500 G's to move out here, huh? Help make the developers who. Uh, destroyed all the former habitat here rich why not look you could look out your window at that beautiful vista over there at those uh, hills you'll never be able to go hiking in anyway i think i've had enough of this 
yeah, I uh, sufficiently want to puke right now. Uh, I guess you, I guess you get the idea. All right, well, have a good rest of your day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.